Hello there, kitties. It's Curry here, the vacuum tube witch. And we have a problem with the audio computer that I made in 2019. The, the problem it's, it's right over here. This pesky little bugger broke off and we are in for a little repair or maybe just a workaround so that uh, this uh, device is uh, at least uh, barely operational again. All this while I'm watching the EVA on the International Space Station. Let's get to the bench. And starting with the little overview of what this device is and what it does. This is the, uh, the power switch that uh, turns it on and off, of course. The mains uh, AC pilot light. Those are the indicators and the fuses for the AC output channels. We'll get to it pretty soon. This is the big red button that uh, switches the audio gear on and off. Those are the shutdown and reboot buttons. I need to get them working in the software. The LED that uh, comes on when uh, the device is ready, when the operating system has booted, and the phone's output. Going over to the back panel, the USB sockets and the Ethernet, the audio inputs for recording, audio in outputs for playback. Those are the power sockets uh, two of them uh, have uh, the second uh, ac channel and uh, two of them has have the first ac channel this is the input for the second and this is the input for the first uh, ac channel and it is now time to discombobulate the enclosure which is very easy I built this device um, using an uh, old uh, single rack unit uh, UPS enclosure. And by the way, uh, I can see a lot of haters coming on me <laughs> saying, You should use the Phillips screwdriver for that! This is the positive! It's not done this way! Come on, I, last, I left the uh, Felix screwdriver on the desk. Anyway, the insides of, uh, of this audio computer. This is the power supply module. It supplies uh, 5 and 12 DC. Those are the main filter caps. The outputs. Uh, then the main, uh, the AC control relays. This is the Orange Pi uh, PC Plus. I chose this single board computer for this application because uh, it has a uh, SATA interface that, uh, as you can see, I use it for for this uh, two terabyte uh, HDD. Unfortunately, this board cannot work with uh, larger HDDs. I learned that uh, the hard way. It's a pity. And uh, what this board does? Uh, first of all, it controls uh, the relays. Uh, it controls the, the power to the um, hi-fi system. And I can... Uh, 
send it uh, a command uh, through the web interface for the HTTP. Second, it is an uh, audio interface uh, uses a Behringer UCI 222 interface and then uh, the balanced, uh, balanced line uh, transformers and uh, it as acts as a network attached storage uh, for for my uh, music files and uh, what we have to do it's uh, finding a workaround uh, for the damaged switch i think i will just uh, omit it uh, completely I don't really remember the schematics for this one. Anyway, uh, there are there are the normally closed and normally open uh, positions on this switch, and I will have to enable them. so that the software sees uh, this as a uh, as a automatic control position because this switch uh, it was uh, it was three positions the the center one was uh, off the left one was uh, fully manual and uh, the right one was uh, automatic control. So I will have to check whether, whether the automatic control has uh, both of those switches uh, active or just one. It's no use repairing it, and I don't have the exact same replacement, so I will have to look for a workaround. Still not sure if I can uh, find one. It might take some experimenting to to determine if it uh, actually uses the automatic control. Ah, I just I just destroyed it. Not a pity at all. This is definitely the ground contact or the positive contact. Yeah, it looks like the ground. Sheer looking at it, uh, it's not enough. I have to test. Fun 
funny enough, I haven't taken a look at this device uh, at the insides for a long time and I kind of forgot uh, what was in it. I uh, don't think I have the engineering notes that I took uh, when I was making it. Connecting the ground with the resistors. Okay, so let's do some tests. It's connected. And I will check uh, whether those uh, three lines, I removed the remains of the switch. Which one of those uh, goes to controlling the MOSFET? Which one is for the sensing of uh, of the status, whether it's on or off, and which one is for sensing the automation mode. I'm having a ping on the IP address of, uh, of this device. I will try looking at so Looking at the at the computer I've got uh, right next to the bench, you can't see it now, but uh, I uh, I can send a command to the interface and the controller, and. Uh, uh, the white line uh, detects uh, whether the device uh, allows uh, automatic control. 
it have to be lifted from the ground I will leave it um, this way then the blue line detects whether it is on or off power is now on power is now off and zero and when it's on it's high When it's off at zero and uh, getting the control working as a workaround seems to be pretty trivial. <coughs> I will now send the on command through the web interface. See? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Since the power socket number two is um, unoccupied, it's, it doesn't have the plug connected. Uh, only the first channel lamp is uh, lit up and um, the other one is not. But uh, both relays are connected together, meaning that uh, if I've got both uh, power inputs, uh, both channels will go on. And uh, that is uh, the very simple workaround uh, for the for the audio computer automatic and manual control not working. Shutting down the operating system on this one doing it uh, remotely via SSH and I will also want to insulate some of the connectors here Insulate the connections. All this while the astronauts uh, on the ISS are leaving the space station now. They are now in the airlock, watching the, the stream uh, from NASA.
account and both account. Time to put it back together. There's some debris running around inside. It's no longer the case. Turning it around. Putting the cover on it. Those two screws Back in the International Space Station flight the crew room, the Orbit 2 team is ready to support today's spacewalk under the direction of flight director Anthony Barney. And there it is, it's done. Time to get it back into the rack. <laughs> 